Beyond the new Quichelings, and Happy Halloween. Um, I am Quichon Prime, and this is Bendy. And I just found out, I just took it out of the box because I was like, you know, Halloween. I, I loved Bendy and the Ink Machine. His head turns. <laughs> Uh, it's stupid, but anyway, um, enough of my goofy antics. Welcome to my live reaction of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Because, dang it, I'm scared, so don't touch me. So, you know, it's like, I don't know, but, um, I heard about these like a couple years ago, and I just, I kept meaning to do a reaction of them, and I thought, it sounds kind of Halloween-y, so uh, let's uh, get on to it. I think there's only six of them out. They apparently take a long time to produce and everything, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how well this goes. But uh, <clears throat> okay, alrighty. I I love that everything is made out of felt and such. Very attention to detail oriented I love it Here the, that cactus looks wrong get creative <clears throat> oh lord what's your favorite idea mine is being creative how do you get the idea I just tried to think these are not the voices I was expecting if any at all. I I don't know what I was expecting, but okay. I wasn't expecting the book to flap open and be Dora the Explorer-esque with a face on it. Oh, Lord. Creatively. Now, when you look at this orange, tell me, please, what do you see? It's just a boring old orange. What orange? Maybe to you, but not to me. I see a silly face Whoa. walking along and smiling at me. I don't see what you mean. Because you're not thinking creatively. So take a look what are at these my girls? hair. Hmm. I use my hair to express myself. That sounds really boring. I use my hair to express myself. Now, when you stare at the clouds in the sky, don't you find it exciting? No. Come on, take another oh, look. Hmm. I can see a hat. I can see a cat. I can see a man with a baseball bat. I can see a dog. I can see a frog. I can see a ladder leaning on a log. Think you're getting the hang of it now. They're just now. Using your minds to have a good time. Okay. I might paint a picture of a clown. Well, well, there, friend, you might need to slow down. Um. What the? What the? F Here's another good tip yeah. of how to be a creative whiz kid. Go and collect some leaves and sticks and arrange them into your favorite color. Uh, the only thing I have a problem with is that when the little notepad's hand moves, you can obviously see the stick involved. I mean, maybe it was the only thing they had available, but like a translucent one might have been nice, is all I'm saying, but... Everything looks pretty good if it's not a little disturbing. Also, there's liquid in that damn cup. That is an attention to detail to beat all. <laughs> damn. Oh, the fuck with you, notebook from hell. It's my favorite cup. What the hell are you man? Yellow dude. Okay, red dude's going with the glitter. Fuck glitter. It's everywhere. What the b <laughs> Um Um the the frickin' duck Did they You changed Both of them changed They're now people in suits I mean, this guy, I think, was always in a suit, the red dude. So it's like, huh. What, what, what is this? Oh, right. oh that was an act. Okay, the table's gone now. Like, I think things are starting to get weird. I've heard this gets weird. Yeah, it's getting weird. Why? Death. Oh, so that's what the 
Oh, well, now it's back to normal. <laughs> now let's all agree to never be creative again. <laughs> what? Was that it? Yeah, the rest is just credits. Okay. Also, that uh, CGI bit, like, uh, that's a camera. And that's a mic boom. I guess that's a director. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Take one. They're on a CGI kind of like movie TV set. What the hell is this nonsense? Alrighty. Um. Okay. Well, um. The real heart was kind of creepy. Because you thought, oh, it just looked like a, you know, like the traditional like heart shape. Not the biological heart shape. Like, that's when things, you knew things were starting to get a little, mm. but, uh, yeah, okay. Okay, this one actually has a title. Uh, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared too. Time. Oh, God, what is going to be said in this one? I have no idea. So, basically, Do Not Be Creative is kind of what I got from the first one. And this one is going to be what? That your time on Earth is very short so don't waste it you slob I don't know what to expect let's get into it shall we time okay they're in chairs it's really Come apparent on, guys. stop He's mucking upset. around we only have five minutes until our show's on that's not enough time there's no damn reception on that team time for a song Oh, Lord. Um, wasn't the duck thing, like, black in the last one? Now he's green. Is that another subtle change? Like, are there going to be, like, subtle little changes throughout this that are just going to get weirder and weirder and weirder? <laughs> I don't know. But, okay. The clock has legs now. Time is a tool you can put on the wall or wear it on your wrist. The past okay. is far behind us. The future doesn't exist. Wait, what did that date say? 1906-55, so I'm guessing June 19th, 55, so I'm guessing 1955? What? Okay. Um, so they're a lot older than they appear. Kindness. The future doesn't exist. Oh, oh. What's the time? It's quarter to nine. Time to have a bath. What do you mean? We're already clean. Scrub, scrub, scrub till the oh, water. Also, uh, when he showed quarter to nine, I'm pretty sure that was a quarter after nine, but alrighty. The hands just got... Well, them being switched wouldn't have actually changed anything, because they would have both been pointing at the nine. Or close to the night so it's like that don't make any sense what is all of this beady confetti that looks like the bottom of a fish tank is brown time is a ruler to measure the day it doesn't go backwards only one way watch it go round like a merry-go-round why was there a so fast like a merry-go-round let's go on a journey a journey through all time a time that's changing all the time he got bigger it's time to go to time but we don't really want to we're going to miss our show. Don't be stupid, friends. Come on, it's time to go. Time was old, like a Victorian oh. time. We've cobbled and playing and speaking in rhyme. We've cobbled to make it this. simple a time. This tree that is old has circles inside. The tree that is older has shriveled and died. The apple that's fresh is ripe to the core. Then I rot over time and I'm not anymore. Time can be told by the moon or the sun. Hmm. Time flies past when you're having fun. <laughs> There's a time and a place for mucking around. Like camping. I'm friendly, Fuck you, Clark. Dad. Wait. Who the hell is this dude? <laughs> he messed up. <laughs> he He's losing more hair than I am. And damn those head wrinkles. Like, good lord. And his nose. It's like, I think it's been disjointed a little bit. Maybe time done fucked him up. Or is he the, is he yellow dude? But like. 40 years in the future or something? I don't know. And then what happened after the olden days? 
Time went new and got old like history. Stuff from the past went into a mystery. An old man died. But look, a computer. Everything's cool. It's the future. Time is now. The future are new. Look at all the, the future was nothing. Things you can do with gadgets and gizmos and email addresses. My dad is a cunt computer. Oh. Look at the time. That's his dad. There's fish on my plate. It's 20 past 8. There's fish on my tray. It's 11 to 12. There's fish in the bath. It's 9.30. There's fish everywhere. Everywhere. Also, I'm noticing that June 19th on all of these calendars. I think it was also the same in the last one as well. Hmm. What happened on June 19th? <laughs> Other than the clock came to life and told you the future is nothing. Um, also, you have another mouse hole. I'm noticing. Interesting. Importance of time. It helps us make pizza. It keeps things in line. But when did it start? And when will it stop? Time is important, and I am a clock. If we run out of time, then where does it go? Is time even real? Does anyone know? Maybe time's just a construct of human perception. Kind of is. Created. I mean, to an extent, it is, and it's not. Our measuring of time is our own perception. But time does still exist, regardless, because things age they decay and then they just go away <laughs> so i think that was kind of how we kind of eventually realized hmm there's a force of nature around us and it's always been here my son was born yesterday and now oh shit i don't know how much has passed but now he's he's gone to college <laughs> because it was before the invention of the clock <laughs> I know that was a stupid example, but kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you are definitely green now. Hmm. Maybe they updated the puppet. <laughs> You're not even a digital clock. Sunrise, sunset, night and day, the changing seasons, the smoke. Get pain. this guy out of the Look house. Look at your hair grow. Isn't it strange how time makes your appearance change? Oh, oh, um, oh, what the, ah, <laughs> what the hell, um, um, oh, 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 I, I, I guess I was right to watch this on Halloween, um, oh, poor red dude, he, he, he's like a hundred years old, he Methuselah, fucking clock back there, it's like, I am the god of death. Time is to all your end. You know, something like that. I don't get it, but, you know, I assume, because as soon as he came to life, everything went to shit. Get that possessed clock motherfucker out of your house before you're all dead. <laughs> it's out of my hands, I'm only a clock. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. But eventually, everyone runs out of time. Were they watching that on TV? Also, how are they supposed to watch TV from that that arrangement? Okay, well, that was just that that was um that was something. Um, so I was kind of right. It's like, oh, you're all you all have a limited amount of time in this world, and it's always passing by. It's like you better not let it you know, escape your fingers, because once it's gone, you are too. <laughs> kind of deal. Okay. And, like, the different versions of time, like, you know, is it perceived by us only? Does it exist naturally in the world? Kind of already went over that, but then it's like, and uh, how with time things have progressed. So, okay. And also just the rotting decay of three puppet dudes that didn't deserve it. Five minutes passed, goddammit. <laughs> actually, it would have been hilarious if this video was actually five minutes long. Like, that that would have been cool. Also, there was that kind of nice little segment. Um, the, the Like, the town segment here. Like, that was a different animation style. It seems like each one of them kind of has, like, a different animation style. And I, I like that. But uh, we're moving on to number three now. Don't hug me. I'm scared three. This one doesn't have a subtitle, which is interesting. Also, 
still missing. Last seen on June 19th. What happened on June 19th? They're right there. Why do you keep bringing that cap? Isn't it nice to finally be outside on such a beautiful day? Hmm. Yes, and I've packed us a delicious chicken picnic. Um, that ain't cooked. Huh? You're all gonna get salmonella. <laughs> and funny enough, it was like just recently I was watching the movie called Cooties, a child oriented zombie apocalypse occurred all due to a freaking infected chicken nugget. Always, you know, clean procedures and always cook your food to the proper temperature, people, or otherwise the world will come to an end. Yes. But anyway, the movie wasn't bad. Go check it out. Pesky bee. Uh, oh, I don't think he likes bees. Uh, he just ran off like a mm, bitch. He seems upset about something. Really, I Rick. wonder what will happen. How did you climb Makes up that? Makes you sad, doesn't it? Huh? That there's so much hatred in the world. Oh, you're... I hope you don't mind if I ask you a question. A little hmm. baby pigeon. <laughs> Have you ever wondered it's not a pigeon. What's it all about? You've no idea. What is the D on and his? You look, oh. All you see is hatred and darkness, death and fear. But you know it doesn't have to be. This one's getting I weird. You. Pretty you early hate on. me. Because even though we're different, it doesn't make a difference. And we can live in harmony. No, you don't know who I am. But maybe I could hold your hand. How about no, you freaky stranger butterfly bastard? You, you've you already talked about death, fear, and what was the other thing? It's like, no, this is going to go down a dark road. Well, it was darkness, death, and fear. That I think that's what it was. Also, you never introduced yourself, so you're just a stranger. Stranger danger, yellow dude. Keep away from this fuck. So we could understand about love. Love. Huh? I feel tingly. Oh yes, no. Yes, that's love, my friend. He's infected you with drugs. You to learn all about it. <laughs> this is a drug bug. <laughs> Why does the clouds have faces? You're having one hell of a trip, yellow dude. And do you ever feel like life's unfair? Everybody hates you and no one cares. But if you follow me, maybe you will see that love is. Why does everywhere. it sound like he's voiced by freaking Daniel Radcliffe for some reason? Or is it just me? I could just be crazy and think that it it's that when it's not. Also, you talk about love. Is that what this title's supposed to be? Like love? Or what something? is love? Is it in disguise? No, it's a feeling deep inside. Because I'm hungry. No, you're lonely. I can see it in your eyes. I don't understand. Don't worry, you will soon. Come and meet some of my friends. They know all about love. Come on, just over the rainbow. Oh look, there he goes, flying through the sky. Um maybe we should follow him. Or yes. we'll get left behind. Yes, but there's lots of chicken left. I'd like to eat the chicken. Ugh. I'd also like to eat the chicken. Let's do that instead. I know he's more of a duck or something, but it's like that's kind of cannibalism. <laughs> also, so all of this is actually happening. It's not actually a a drug hallucination. Okay. They just saw their friend fly by on a cloud being led by a what I'm going to say is a butterfly from hell. And, uh, yeah. You you didn't think, oh, let, let's call somebody because this could go bad. Hmm. These are, how are these people still alive? Here we are with all my friends and they love you, all of them. Yes, we do. It is true. Oh. We love you. You love us you too. You sounded like Bert. <laughs> Kind of, or somebody. I don't know which Muppet or, you know, Sesame Street character, but that dude sounded like somebody I I recognize. But it's like I can't only vaguely remember the voice. Oh, so what the hell are you? Are you a chipmunk or something or a beaver? But that tree looks like it 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 belongs back in Wispy Woods. 
the dark, dark side of Wispy Woods. I love you too, Barry boy. <laughs> Harder. Now we've eaten the chicken, I don't know what to do. Maybe we should look for our friend. Isn't that what friends do? And we have finished the chicken picnic. The chicken picnic? To love each the other is to bus. care, to be kind, and to share. I love my friend, so I give him a hug. Amazing. You know, you yep. basically ripped a freaking friend out of the ground and doomed it to die a quicker death by picking that flower. You're horrible. <laughs> and you're creepy as fuck, purple dude, who sounds like somebody, and what the hell is that in your hand? Because I love you so much. I love my pet because he's a crab. I love this tree and I love this stick and I love no, this No, 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 that's not how it's done. You must save your love for your special one. My special one? Uh, everyone has a special one. Even me? I am lonely. Yes, it's true, but do not worry. You're confused, but that's okay. Let me put it another way. Why, why do we, we this is the story of Michael, the loneliest boy in town. Oh. This is the story of Michael. Ah, another one of the, like, different art styles. I like it, I like it. Also, this one's considerably longer than the other ones. I wonder if they get longer as time goes on. So, Michael, the loneliest one in town, huh? Boy in town. Huggy and weak, they call him a freak. So he lived on his own underground. Is he, he really that weak? He lived that? Oh, we dug he that hole. His own underground. That's sad, though. You see, everyone has a special one. Even Michael! Your heart beats hard like a big love drum, calling for your special one. So be patient, because just maybe... Your special, special one, one will come. He's made for her. And she's made for him. That's the way it's always been. And it's perfect. 1906. And it's protected <clears throat> with a ring. That's the way that all love goes. Like a flower, it grows and grows. And it's forever. Forever. And now we all worship our king. Our king. Our king. Our king. king. His name oh. is Malcolm. Our king. He is the king of love. This is a cult. We must feed him gravel. Or he becomes angry. And this is your chance to what? start anew. Um. And all we're asking you to do is change your name. A clean your brain. Forget about anything you ever knew. And your heart will vanish home. And our love will never go. Oh. Now wear this ring and, and join, join the, the king. king. And you will never be alone. <laughs> good thing you woke up, dude. <clears throat> now get the fuck out of that tree. And oh, the... there you are. We've been looking for you all afternoon. We're sorry we upset you. But look, we've bought you the last boiled egg to cheer you up. I guess it must be because we love you. No. For me? Father! What the... Pesky bee? D dirty fucking... What the hell? No. Don't want that. Don't want that at all. Oh. Oh, Lord. That one, I don't even know what to explain about that one. Yeah, I knew it was going to get weird, but I didn't think it turned into straight up cult. You know. I told you that damn butterfly was from hell, but, you know, damn you, Butter Radcliffe. Um, but anyway, so that, that was weird. I, like I said, I don't know what to say about that one. No one deserves to ever be alone. I'm glad that his friends seemingly did go after him, but apparently they probably still did eat everything. And it's like, so... They did kind of just let him run off into the woods without any, you know, like going to check on him or whatever because they don't even know what happened. So, like, was it from the fly and then that kind of triggered the butterfly thing? I A weird insect connection somewhere? And then, like, his, uh, oh, no one loves me kind of stuff. So, I, I don't. I don't know what to say. It's very weird. Um, but anyway, um, so yeah, that one turned really dark and a lot quicker than the previous ones. So I imagine we're going to start getting an escalation now that we're at the midpoint. 
But uh, yeah, let's uh, dive on into Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared For. Okay, they're in a different room of the house now, seems like. Oh, look, there's Yellow Dude and his weird-looking dad. What are they doing, playing a board game? No subtitle for this one either. Oh, I guess it's my turn to choose a card. Yes. Let's see. Question hmm. fun. What is the biggest thing in the world? Mm, the Earth That's itself. That's a tricky one. A mountain? A sky? A windmill? No! If only there was a way to learn more about the world. A Google search. Oh. Gonna talk to a globe now? Yes. If only there was some way to learn more information about this. Do they not have a computer? I, I, I like it that they're like getting wise to things coming to life now. <laughs> so like that, this is pretty funny that they're waiting for the club to be like, Oh, I'll tell you about the world. And then like spin its head around and it's like, I know everything because I am the globe. Oh, Lord. Also, what time period is this all taking place in? Like, because they seemingly are much older than they are based on that one photo. And then, you know, like, but we've seen a computer and they've mentioned like other kinds of modern tech. So it's like, what is the, is it a flowing timeline of sorts? Or is it like trapped in some kind of weird purgatory? Who knows? But, uh. But I do like this this kind of gag that's going on. <laughs> wow, look! I'm a computer. I'm a computer guy. Everything made oh. out of buttons and wires. I'd like to oh. show you. You have a face Inside my digital life. Inside my mind, there is a digital mind. Uh. Oh. Maybe you could help us answer this question. Why are you talking what to What is the, the biggest clever. thing? I'm very clever guy. Mm. Wow. Count to a 50 in the blink of my eye and print a picture. And then I tell you the time. time. Help you to find something you're wanting to find. No, it's easy to be a clever smart boy like me. <laughs> if you could do it all digitally. <laughs> Wow. He was going to and then fall on the floor <laughs> and then bust open and we see his uh, his digital mind inside of his digital mind or whatever he said. So it's like, yeah, th this one's going to get kind of weird, I imagine, too. He outsmarted a computer. Actually, oh. we already have a computer. Right. Oh. Great news. Now, oh. before we begin our journey, I just need to get some information from you. Mm. What's your name? Where do you live? What do you like to eat? I live in oh. my house. Spaghetti. Well, my name is Great News. Now, just a few more questions and we'll be on our way. Wait a oh. second. What's your favorite color? Do you like cows or goats? Mm. Milk. Be quiet. Do you have brown hair? What is your blood type? Are you allergic Shut to up. Don't touch me. <laughs> Don't touch me. Don't hug me. Uh, but I'm not scared. I'm just scary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is, this is, shut up. Don't touch me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, God. This one might not be so scary as it's just hilariously aloof. Uh, but yeah. Why was it asking all these questions that are personal and some of them totally infectual? of uh to their inquiries so uh, are you mining data computer are you trying to steal someone's identity are you made in a, another country and like trying to steal social security numbers i think you is <coughs> what? oh what the okay we're, we're going into the digital world now Everyone go get Digimon! Um, oh, oh lord. 
welcome to my digital home. Everything made out of numbers and code. Huh? Wow, we're all computery. Oh yeah, wow, wow, wow. Because <laughs> of the computer. I don't get it. How can it be if I'm sitting at home when I'm inside the screen? But you're not you. You're your digital you. Hmm. Virtually real, but controlled by real you. But if he's not quite real, then I'm not real too. And you're not hmm. real you. He's inside your real you. Oh, wow. How amazing. That's Actually, with, in the terms of the computer's inner self, it would just be like himself because it's what he is <laughs> he's not a human being in a computer or whatever you know a living creature in a computer just a computer all righty but in this digital world what can we do i love your like unamused what can we do hey. good question well it's up to you in the digital world i was like he keeps printing things out of the top of his head though we saw another printer so it's like where is that shit coming from? I just realized. Uh-oh. They all have doors now. And you're still unamused, Red Dude. Three things to do. Wow, look at pie chart. Digital style. Do a digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Wow, look at bar graph. Digital style. Do a digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Wow, look at line graph. Digital style. Do a digital dancing. Wow, look at Oblong. Digital style. Do a digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Wow, look, nothing. Digital style. <laughs> look, nothing. Digital dancing. Hey, this is uh -oh. fun. Digital style. It's getting exponentially digital faster. Digital it's like technology. Digital dancing. Hey, this is fun. Things are about to get cooler. Oh, okay. Well, that digital stuff. Oh, no. where did everybody go? Oh, what the... It's time to pull the plug. Also, the computer is a real computer now. We've entered the Matrix, everybody. Oh. What? 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 <laughs> it's another TV set. <laughs> also, he's just got a tape recorder taped to his chest. Oh, look, red, look, red dude's just a mop. And the duck is straight up duck. Huh. The only one that actually looks like it kind of fits with what we've seen up to this point is the oats box. So. Uh-oh. My dad has a computer. You are not invited to the party. Wait, what? What the? What the hell was all of that? I don't... I, I'm starting to get to where I don't know what to say about anything. It's getting weird. Err. Yeah, weirder. Um, buy the installment. Hmm. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Um. They went to a digital world. They didn't get Digimon. That was disappointing. Things got weird. Disco party from hell. Pulled the cord to find out that nothing is real? It's okay, again, it's happened before, so it's, it's just strange, but alrighty. Um, let's get in here. Don't hug me, I'm scared. Five. We're in the kitchen now. Oh, that's a cute little art there on the fridge. Oh, it's a mm. full-on kitchen. Dang, spacious. Something's different. Hmm. Something's missing. Is it Red Guy? Also, there's a calendar in every room. Oh, he's the... What? Mm. Why wasn't he... Hmm. Health juice. It's Is a... it this guy? This and it's... I ain't eating that. Steak and eggs. Eggs and steak and eggs. Are you hungry? You look to be a bit hungry. No, do, 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 do. Lots of people get hungry. Everybody gets That's your body. Hungry comes from your... Okay, this dude right here, this big meaty boy... 
Like, if Luffy from One Piece ever saw him, he would be dead five seconds later. Like, you know, so... Yeah. Also, you're stabbing a duck with a fork. How are you not having a mental crisis right now? Right now. Like, come on. Um, your body. Get off me. But Get your off me. body. It must have to be healthy. What's that? A tasty snack. What you don't want to go and eat a snack like that. Greedy to eat all that. You'll end up with your teeth all grey. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It's healthy. <laughs> Food is talking. You're just now <laughs> reacting to that? Food been talking for like the last two minutes. Let's get healthy now. So this one's all about health and such? Um. Uh-oh. Um. Is it the president? Red. What? What's right from wrong? What the hell? The body is like a special house with blood, hair, and organs in the different rooms. Oh look, there's Mr. Bladder in the basement. <laughs> and now food comes in through the chimney, mouth, and goes from room to room, greeting the different organs. Hello. Now, the good healthy food is very nice and polite to the organs, and so is invited to stay for a party. Yay! Yay! But the bad, not healthy foods are very rude and must leave through the cat flap. The cat flap? <laughs> what the hell is that thing in the can? Like, come on. Just tell us what it is. It looks like some kind of, I guess... Also, I'm seeing Red Dude there. He's on the outside of the house? Unlike the fourth, fifth story? I'm, I'm confused. Also, why does this meat have hair? I guess I shouldn't be questioning it. He's a giant thing of steak. And he's just kind of alive with arms and legs and a face. And a mind and can dance. So... I don't know why I'm questioning that, but it's still kind of weird, you know. But, uh, hmm. So this one's about healthy food, but what was the phone call? And then the duck dude woke up in another room watching this on TV. So it's like there's another fourth wall break kind of deal. Uh-oh. That is a tiny phone. Why is that also fun? Uh-oh. Me do don't look happy. Hello? What's that? A tasty snack. You don't want to go and eat a snack like that. Greedy. I, I feel like these healthy foods are like trying to keep them away from something. That, that's all I can figure out anyway. Hmm. But also like this is like a actual full-size kitchen it's like they just kind of covered everything in what looks like foam and stuff which i love oh lord the the set that they basically had to create to allow this is ridiculous um also who hangs pots like that that's weird anyway oh god there's the computer dude on the side of the I wonder if there were like hints of like previous things. Huh. I don't know. Whatever. Get back into it. To eat all that, you'll end up with your gums all grey. Yeah, but something's wrong. Exactly. How do we know which ones are the healthy foods to eat? Well, that's easy. The food groups can easily be sorted using the simple health shape. Choosing normal, plain-looking foods such as bread, cream, white sauce, and aspic keep the body ticking over just what? nicely. <laughs> Isn't that right? Oh. I need to go. Oh, wait, oh, what's aspic. this? Fancy, show-offy foods like cooked meats, fruit salad, soil foods, and yolk. Uh. These foods will clog up the body with unnecessary detail. Oh, no, look, it's all broken and on the floor. Stabbed it with a fork. <laughs> Maybe we should wait huh? before we put it on the plate. No. Or it could be too late. No, 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 no. 
Oh, well, another fourth wall break. Saw stage lights. Let's go. Is he waking up again? In that dark room on the table? Is that yellow dude? Oh, that was What's that? Plain white sauce? Plain white sauce makes your teeth go gray. Doesn't matter. Just throw it away. Why not try something else on your tray? Oh, what's that? A, A lovely, lovely pie. pie. But you're gonna end up sad inside. Uh, I like pie. <laughs> what the hell are you? Oh no, poor duck dude. <laughs> What, the, what is up with their damn obsession with your teeth turn gray? Some turns gray. Oh lord, you monstrosities, you. Gray? Just eat yeast and it'll go away. But how much have you had today? Too much yeast makes your teeth go gray. Oh, that's some onion paste. Looks like one. Have a taste. That wasn't onion paste. You shouldn't eat food from a stranger's plate. A stranger's plate. A stranger's plate. It's red, dude. A stranger's plate. A stranger's plate. That's probably what the spaghetti was. And... Wait, there was an expiration date on that, uh... On that can in the microwave. See if I can find it. No. Nope. Did I go too far back? Let's see. Hey, strangers, 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 Oh Lord, just what? Oh damn it! I missed it again. Expires. Nine. I think it's the same. It is the same date. Wait, did it say June nineteenth? I couldn't really see it. I can't pause it quick enough. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so it's like two of the friends are gone and being turned into. Um, he he ate a bunch of food he shouldn't have been eating. Just like duck in a can. Those organs? What the? And the phone rings again. Who's it this time? Who's it been ever? Um. Red dude's just kind of like, I'm. Oh, he was calling the whole time, I bet. Also, there's a weird number on the side of that phone booth. Like, huh. That. Okay, that seems to be the end of it. I checked to make sure that I wouldn't miss anything, but okay. Um, okay. The, uh, so that was, that was definitely a thing. Okay, eat healthy. Don't eat junk crap. You know, like, obviously, you know, follow dietary standards and all that kind of stuff. And also hope that you're not going to wake up when the phone rings and that your organs are being pulled out of your body and that your friend may or may not have eaten you. Hmm. I'm confused. Okay. Um. And, uh. Is that a jackalope on the wall? Hmm. Anyway, that one was, uh, weird. But they all, they all end up weird. The first one wasn't nearly as bad, but it just progressively gets worse and worse. Like, it starts off quicker, and it ends up darker. So, yeah. And we don't necessarily always end up back to where we started off, and it's like, oh, well, it was all a dream. I'm kind of sounding like the red dude now. Um, but anyway, so, uh, don't hug me, I'm scared. Number six. Okay, they really like this photo. They just hung it up everywhere. This one's happening at night. There's like a progression in time, it seems like, which I kind of like. They all sleep in the same room. Did he actually kill them? Are they dead? Did they leave? Also, how long have you guys been friends? Like, It's hard to know how old you're supposed to be in these pictures. Okay, you're... That is creepy. 
Oh, Red Duke graduated from high school, college? I don't know. But, alrighty. I do like all the, like, the attention to detail that they had with crafting this whole world. So, they get full marks for that, I have to say. Okay. Good night, guys. Yeah, they're, they're kind of gone. I miss you. Where did they go? Did you actually eat them? Are we getting continuity? <laughs> oh, somebody's oh. sleepy. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> but that's silly. No. Throw it on the floor. How can you be sleepy if you don't know how to have dreams? No, I don't want to know. I, I don't want to know how to have dreams. No. He's like, I've seen a lot of weird shit today. I want to go to sleep. I ain't listening to you, you fucking lamp who's telling me shit. <laughs> I want to sleep and forget all the darkness in my life. Uh, at least for a little bit. Uh, this is kind of becoming real life now. Is that what this is all culminating in? Is it like he's having a some kind of life crisis here cuz it's also this face with this like cloud nonsense is like closing him <laughs> no That's not a dream. He has long oh, eyes. Looks like somebody's having a bad dream. Uh, oh no. Oh, he's he's. The oil came true. Now he's having a bad trip because of you drug-induced motherfuckers. It's more like the. Oh, hey, hey, red dude. Um. What, what what's happening? Can you file these files, please? Oh, he's. Uh, yeah. Sure. Uh, hey, uh, but wouldn't it be funny if um, one of these files came alive? <laughs> yeah. What it though? I am a file, and you put documents in me, and. Um, a do 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 a file. Is this implying that he's in like a whole nother reality, but he's like been getting these weird transmissions or something, or did he separate from that reality in some way or what? Because like he's obviously aware that things come to life randomly. Hmm. I'm intrigued. But there's like a world of only red people I like this now. You know, it, it did it like a song. No. Huh. That sounds really boring. No, it just it gets weirder. Trust me. It might be interesting. Also, this is some really out of date computers. Oh, welcome to the drudge and toil that is the workplace. Oh, having a drink at the bar, are we? But I was like, yeah. That's not even the same bucket. <laughs> bucket, <laughs> bucket. I am the cool guy, I guess. Laid back and sad. Mm. Nowadays I hurt my leg today. I am scared I'm not how to play. I play the game. Oh, I play the Oh, is he breaking free? Because he's naked now. Hello. Oh, can't. Rude. No clothes. <laughs> Is it the same dude in every costume when he speaks or something? Oh, we're getting jazzy now. <clears throat> What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Always sing the first idea. one. I just try to think creatively. When you look at this orange, tell me please, what do you see? <laughs> just a boring old orange. Or maybe to you, but not to me. I see a silly face. Walking along and smiling at me. I don't see what you mean. 
Why did you slip that in? It's not very good at all. Not good. Oh, you're all dead inside. So. Oh, Jello dude's dead. Your voice is music to my face. What the? Cello dude on the TV from at the beginning. You made me die. I'm a computer guy. Everything made out. Things are blending. Why I'd like to show you. What's it all about? You've no idea. And everywhere you look, all you see is hatred. And now it's Ice cream beef. Ice cream beef makes your teeth go grey. Oh God, that's it. Throw it away. Why not try something? Is on my tray? What? Oh, 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 but red is going on. That was what he was saying. Oh, I know about you. Cigarette. You kind of messed up. Right there. Oh, that, you were the kind of person. Uh oh, I see a yellow hand. Is it the old? Is it the, the dad? Oh, that is a long ass hand. What? The, The weird producer to all of this. I want my son to be tortured for all time. And you're not helping. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing a big cord. Oh, yeah, we're, we're gonna unplug this shit. <clears throat> Man, he, is he going crazy or is he aging? I do wonder. They look different. We we've got a simplistic room now. You're blue, he's green, and you're red. <laughs> okay. He kind of flipped some of your colors around. A little bit. Still June nineteenth. Hmm. Yeah, this is like right back to the first short. <gasps> Time passed. What's your favorite idea? Oh god, not you. Well. That was interesting. Um That one I'm not sure what to make of that. Like was it just that everything was a dream? Are we to say that like everything we saw up to you know, this point was all just a lie, and he was like, that was just his mental images, because Red Guy seemed to have more, um, well, what's the word I'm looking for? But he, like, seemed to have more control over certain things, and he was a bit more detached from it than the other two were, so. <clears throat> I mean, he also wasn't being torn apart like the duck, and wasn't being constantly tortured like the yellow dude, so... It's like, hmm, Red Guy definitely had it 
a lot better, though sad, be it, you know, given his reality, apparently. But hopefully things will be better, especially if there's any more of these things. But the fact that it actually kind of flipped to the next day kind of hints that it's over, right? Right? I, I really have no idea. But this is very weird. I don't know what the dad's objective was. Was he running a TV show or something? And his his son and two of his friends were, you know, the ho or the the main stars and you're like manipulating their world into a point where they don't know what reality is or what. I don't know. I may have to go watch theory videos or something on this to understand it maybe a little bit better, but um yeah, um, I don't know what to make of any of this, to be honest. It was, it wasn't, it was jarring at times. It, some of it was a little disgusting, I'll give it that, but nothing was super scary or anything. But then again, I've seen a lot of weird shit in my time, so, you know. But yeah, um, yeah, um, if anybody has any more thoughts on this, please share down in the comments your theories, your thoughts, your feelings on what any of this was to be, you know, what its purpose, its meaning, all that, let me know down below. <clears throat> but anyway, um, let me know all your thoughts and stuff again. Um, check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. Um, I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet it out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Kishlings. Bendy says goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody.